Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use ESP Home in Windows Operation System uh, without Home Assistant, without Raspberry Pi, and without any Linux server. Maybe some users will think uh, if I use ESP Home, must need install the Home Assistant, I must need add the Raspberry Pi, because that will let the cost become high. But I can tell you, it's not must use the Home Assistant. So in this video I will show you how to uh, write the config file and how to compare the file and how to download the firmware uh, to ESP32 board. Okay, let's step by step tell you how to do with it. Let's look at uh, this device that is Kinkoni Server Mini. It's a Raspberry Pi server. I have installed the Home Assistant and this ESP32 board. And this is just a switch or switch. Uh, you can see I can turn on and turn off. Uh, and this is a tablet that I have installed the Home Assistant application. So you can see uh, this is just a tablet. So usually we will use this Raspberry Pi and install Home Assistant so that can run in the Home Assistant dashboard on the Raspberry Pi. And in this video I will show you remove it and how it works. Let this ESP32 board work. Also work the, with the wall switch and also you can have a user interface uh, on the tablet or on the computer. So now we can remove this server. I just remove it and remove it, not use the Raspberry Pi. And also close the Home Assistant dashboard. Okay. Okay, now you can see I only have this one ESP32 board and the wall switch. Now let's look at how to use the Windows uh, to download the firmware and uh, change the config file for the wall switch. Because this wall switch, you can see this import one digital import one has country this this first relay. You can see. Now I need to change it, and now you can see in our Home Assistant dashboard, uh, this already can't work because I have removed the server, so I just can close it. Okay. Now I will show you how to use the ESP Home on Windows operating system. Uh, you can see the ESP Home support install the ES ESP Home on the Windows or on the Mac or on the Linux, a different system. But I think most used I will use the Windows. So this video I will use the Windows, tell you how to install it. Uh, it's very easy, just install the Python. You can see I can just click it here. That will open the Python web page. So you just download this Python. I can click, and this will begin download. Okay, that you can see I have downloaded. So just click this file, and we can close this window and back to this one. And make sure you can see, just click install now and make sure have check this box add person to pass that for windows environment so you can see uh, we just open this window and click this one this is important click this one and click install now okay now just wait for some minutes that will install complete And we can go on. After you install, you just use this, this command to check the person version. So this we need to do next step. Okay, that have set up successful. And we can close. And now we just use the Windows command. Command line, you can run CMD, that means command. Okay. And we can let it become smaller. And you can see, uh, now we can use this, this one. I can put it here. Just import person version enter. And you can see that have installed person successfully. Okay, the next we will install the ESP home component. And you can see I just Use this command, I just copy and uh, paste it here and enter. 
So that, that can auto download from the internet, and you can see that have installed uh, this WHEAL. And the next, the, just the last one, we just need to install the ESP Home. Copy and uh, paste at here. And you can press Enter. Now it's downloading uh, the ESP Home files uh, from the internet. Okay, you can see that have install complete. And at last, you can use this command to check ESP Home version. So you can, I can copy and paste it here, enter. So that will show the ESP Home version. This is the newest version. Okay, that have installed the ESP Home on Windows operating system. It's very easy. And then the next, I will show you how to write the code, write the ESP Home YAML file on the Windows computer. And you can see, I have created this A4 folder in my disk D. And this is the A4 config YAML file just uh, used in Home Assistant. We can copy some code because I need to save the time. So you can see, this is the YAML file used in Home Assistant. Uh, before I, I have created the output for, for relay, you can see, for output and for the binary sensor, that's for input. So I just copy some relay, fortune relay, and copy one one channel input uh, for demo. So I can create new file. So you can see, I can create a file that means a4.yaml that I will use this one to compare. Okay, this one. And I can edit it, just use Notepad. So you can see, I can you edit this one and I just copy some code. Uh, you can write uh, your code at here. You can see, I just uh, copy this code. This code is used. And this is for this code is used. Paste it here. And this is for Wi Fi. So that will be used. So you can see, I can copy this code at here. And now I can create a uh, for switch. Just for relay, you can see, I can copy this code. Copy and paste it here. But I'm not testing the Tuya. Uh, I'm not needed to use the internet remote country. So if you want to add the Tuya, also no problem. I just want the code uh, simply so that you can easy to understand. So I delete it. I delete all to your config. So this has create four channel switch. And now I will create one channel of digital input. I just copy this code at here. That is one channel input. I have connect with the button. So that you can see uh, when the Input is triangle, just uh, press this button that the relay output one will be on, and when release it, when the relay output one will be off. And this time, I change the button to country relay two. You can see I change to relay two and I change to relay two and uh, save it. And this one, I close it. And you will see. Uh, we have created this new YAML file. Okay, now I want to compare or I want to download from this file to ESP32, how to do. And also use this command line. And go to this D disk. Go to D disk and go to this folder A4. So CD A4. And we can check. Uh, this have two files, uh, this A4.yaml is I want it. So I will begin using the command to download. But before I download, you should connect with the USB cable. So you need to use this USB cable and connect with the A4 board and my compute. And now you can see I just connect with it. And this time connect with my compute. 
Okay, the next we can see the ESP home. Uh, this have ESP home start with the command line. So you can see uh, we just find out how to upload firmware. You can see at here our first uploading. So you just use this command. Uh, it's also very easy. Just ESP home run file name. Uh, very easy. So you can see. Uh, let's open this one. Command window. I can import ESP home and run and a4.yaml. So I can press enter and you will see that begin download some files and prepare to compare. This window and this you can see the information log output is anything as a home assistant. So now we have used the Windows PC uh, to compile this file. You can see that is compiling, compiling, compiling every file and the speed will be very fast because the computer's CPU speed will be faster than the Raspberry Pi, I think. Okay, you can see linking, that is generate the firmware now. Okay, this is generate successfully. And now you can see that have the information that you can choose this COM port because I have the USB cable, so I can choose this number one. That is number two is by air. Number one, I just press one and press enter. So that will download by the USB cable. Okay, you can see that is download complete. And you can also, that is scanning Wi-Fi signal. And find out, you can see the Wi-Fi signal and you can see get the IP address. And now that have connected successfully. Okay, let's test the wall switch. Whether have changed to ch uh, channel two already. And you can see this time, you can see I can press this button and you can see that become channel two. Uh, this is second LD. And you can see, I can press on and press off. And this is channel 2, uh, before it's channel 1. So I have changed the firmware by the Windows PC. I think now you can use your ESP home YAML file to compare and uh, download to ESP32. But maybe you will ask, uh, this only used by the wall switch. And where is the user interface? Where they have a web page or where they have a a uh, window for a PC or for mobile phone or for tablet to use it. Okay, this I will want to tell you that we use this web servers uh, so that you can use the web page on mobile phone or on the PC. And it, it, it's also very easy. You can see I just search ESP Home web servers and this ESP Home have a web service component. And you will see uh, this window uh, will be very easy to use. Just add to add these two command, so we can add to this command to my code and you can see this is my code I just add to the end paste uh, this way so that you can use the web servers I just will have this window to turn, on, turn off this really very easily and we can press save and maybe you will ask you uh, how to compare the generate the bin file because maybe you want to use the ESP download tool not use the third part and maybe you will use this one this tool you can see use this ESP32 download tool uh, for download for many board okay this time I should uh, tell you how to generate the bin file and download by this file and uh, you can see we have already changed this file and now you can see I can use the command line at here I just close it I just close this window and close this window firstly and also use the Windows command line at here and now you can see I can go to this disk okay now you can see I have changed to A4 photo and I want to generate uh, this file, A4 file, to bin file. 
So you can just input ESP home comply a4.yaml and press enter and now you can see that ESP home will generate the bin file just wait for a moment just not download to ESP32 only generate the bin file this time okay that is successful and you can see that have generated the file at here uh, that you have a firmware factory dot bin this is what we wanted so you can see in this photo and click ESP home build and A4 and you can see this one and you can see the A4 that will have a list firmware factory bin file so this is the bin file you have generated okay now at last we will use this one fresh download from ESP32 and click and press ESP32 and press OK and this window and you can see we can change this bin file I change to A4 photo and you can see this build A4 and this one and this one and choose this one uh, firmware factory and click open and the address just input zero so you can see uh, that have detect I'm um, use com3 and press start that will be download the firmware after download it we will test uh, how to use the web service okay after download you need to repower of your board so you can see I can remove my USB cable and just power off and power on again now I can check with my loader so you can see I can log into my load and the state and here the LAN port you can see that have a A4 list is this IP address so I can copy and paste in my web browser at here okay you can see that is the ESP home web page you can see I can click turn on turn on turn on turn on this have country my relay and turn off and also you can change the style uh, for light and for dark so this is a web page I can, I can use and also I have downloaded uh, from my Windows PC and if you want to use in your tablet and you can see I just can open this Google truck and input the IP address the ESP home web page I can click that turn on relay 1 that turn on relay 2 that release will relay 4 the state also update with my compute and also you can see I can use this one or switch one to country this the second channel relay let's look at uh, clearly uh, pay attention to my input and pay attention to my input output too you can see I can use this wall switch button to turn on and turn off and turn on and turn off so that will be changed so this time I have used the ESP32 and downloaded the ESP home and work with my tablet in local network and also the wall switch is work with the ESP32 directly okay I think this is how to use the Windows PC to write the ESP home code and use for your IoT project and without Raspberry Pi and without server and without home assistant just it's a very simple structure so that will lower your cost and maybe some small logical and some small function work with Tuya and work with the uh, other device also you can write code by the ESP home so that's, that's very useful okay thanks for watching